Hello YouTube fans, how is everyone? Come on in, get comfy. I am Darlene and thank you for visiting my channel, Scorpio 1111. As you saw when you clicked on the video, we're going to be doing a reading for my Scorpios because I need to show you some love. I haven't been on here much lately for you. So I thought we'd do something. I don't think I've ever done one of these, but this will be for singles who's coming towards you. If I have, it's been a while. So I want to ask who's coming toward my Scorpios romantically. <laughs> That's what we're asking. That's what we're asking. And we don't care if there's a new UPS guy or, well, I don't know, you might, but <laughs> we want to know who's coming toward my Scorpios. So, all right. Oh, somebody who po very possibly who wants to keep things balanced with you and who is very patient. We like that. Ooh, could even be someone spiritual. Let's see. All right. Now, you know, I like to get flyers when we can, unless they tell me to stop shuffling. And as I said, that half the deck pops out. So hold on. Hold on. Now, you guys, if you're not single and you want to know about relationships, I have a uh, a lot of videos on that, so please go to those playlists, and I think I'll put my glasses on just in case. Uh, let's see. Hmm. All right, all right. Let me see who is coming toward my Scorpios in love. Let me see. Now, give me a second to take in this energy here, these cards. We've got three major ar arcana here. All right. But only somebody who's going to be mo moving uber, uber slow for one thing, or maybe just afraid to, I don't know why I heard afraid to offer, make you an offer. Maybe they're just Hold on a minute. They, all right, all right. This is really the only troublesome card that, that concerns me here. And it, it it's not really bad because it's not surrounded by any bad cards. And I shouldn't, that was overstating. Troublesome is not the right word. But the King of Cups in reverse can be somebody who's emotionally unavailable or imbalanced emotionally or somebody who just doesn't want to give their love freely or who's afraid to give their cup of love for that matter. So I, I, I think that may be why this temperance card came out because that, that really is a card of being patient. And maybe that is just the universe saying, somebody's coming toward you that you need to be patient with because this person may have been wounded and hurt and maybe they're just not going to give their cup of love freely I wonder, I think I might ask, why is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, though? That, let me see, what deck do you want? Well, I'll clarify with, let's clarify with the little one. Because that can mean a number of things. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Spirit, for who's coming toward my Scorpio? Could just mean somebody that doesn't have a lot of money. I mean, that's down on their luck. It could mean that. Could That could explain why this Page of Pentacles, uh, excuse me, Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. Maybe they just don't have anything to give you. All right. Oh, another one, please. Oh. Okay, I was hoping that wasn't the case, but. <laughs> All right, so th this could be, as I said, somebody who's just down on their luck. This is Wheel of Fortune can mean bad fortune, as it is. It could, um, hmm. I just, it's the combination of the cards that came out. So we've got the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So the Seven of Cups is having a lot of options. Can be so much so that I'm confused because I don't know what, which way to go. And the Nine of Wands in reverse, this is, 
typically in and out energy you know we t in the upright we call him the player card but in the reverse it's someone who's actually more so in other words he's reckless in his actions unless it occasionally means someone who is putting down their player ways but see those these two then are contradictory somebody who has options is probably not going to be putting down his player ways so and uh, that's just still not as clear as I'd like that to be so and what con <laughs> confounds that is that at the bottom of the deck is the tower now I want to see what's fueling that Power fueled by the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands and the Justice card. Okay, so this could have been somebody who was getting out of a relationship or is coming out of a relationship where there was, you know, a tower moments when um, the rug gets pulled out from under us or surprising fast sudden changes happen <clears throat> and it, it has caused this person to put up a wall yeah and and again I'm seeing cards that might indicate money was an issue and so I think that this just might mean that this person and we do have the Queen of Wands here. So this is somebody who's very attractive, somebody who turns heads. You know, she's an entrepreneur. She's energetic. She's an action queen. And and, it, and this is not about gender, he or she, because I don't know if you're a he or she and what your preferences are. But it could just mean this This is some someone who who does have a lot of options. They're attractive, and they have a lot of people who are interested in them. doesn't mean they... and could just be they're not interested that that's another way to read that absolutely maybe they're just holding back you know I don't want to give anybody my pinnacle I'm just gonna sit back here and enjoy life <laughs> you know um, so th you know what I'm hearing I'm hearing this may be somebody who's on the stoic side somebody who might just be like I said, they know they're confident. They know that that's another um, quality of this Queen of Wands is she's confident. And maybe she's just, she's confident, but she's not going to give her cup readily. Um, and she's just not so curious or particularly ready to go out there and mix it up with people. So, you know, you might just be meeting somebody. You know how that happens. Um, you're not looking for somebody and yet you're standing there in the grocery line and you start up a conversation with a complete stranger and that ends up being the guy or the girl so this could be one of those and it it has a little bit of air to that because you've got the magician card here and i when that card came out i thought now what does that mean in this context because it didn't seem to fit and when so it might just be some of that. This might just be a really good, because I love that this tower is followed by this nine of cups. And I, what I'm hearing is this might be something so good that just happens suddenly. It might be your wishes being fulfilled here, Scorpio. And be careful you don't put up a wall against that because, yeah, <laughs> we know how we do that. And it, because this card has come out twice now, but now it's in the reverse. So this could be telling me again that this person, um, maybe this person's just been through a little bit, and and they're you know they're ready. They're that's not what they're going to be about. In other words, they're not going to be about conflict. They they're not going to want conflict. They're not going to be one of those people that uh, lives on drama and all that kind of thing. They want to put all that in their past. And they are someone, could be a Leo, I don't do signs in my readings, but could be, but someone who's very strong and solid. And um, I don't know that I've read a lot about the strength card, but, uh, but I can't help but, 
there's just so much more here in this picture. And, you know, readers get a lot of in, um, information from the pictures. This is a peaceful looking young woman sitting there stroking a lion with her hand almost in his mouth, almost. So what, what does that mean? This is someone who has an, a presence about them, an air about them, a, I want to say confidence, again, a confidence they, because oftentimes the strength card in reverse is losing your confidence, losing your sense of self. So if this person's got that going on for them, I don't think they're going to want to, want to, again, I don't think this is a person that's going to cause a lot of conflict or give you sleepless nights for that matter. Yeah, it's going to be somebody that you will want to invest in. Ta-da, the lover's card. Now, I do feel a kind of a shift in the energy here, wondering if this is maybe more your energy. But I want to get one more time. I, just a couple more cards here, and then we'll finish up. A couple more cards, please, Spirit, on who this person is coming towards my Scorpio. Yeah, the more I feel the energy around that Wheel of Fortune, it feels like somebody who has or, or had options, and they're putting them... Uh, putting their playaways behind them. You know, uh, guys, um, <laughs> all right. I don't control what comes out in the cards, but the Six of Cups just came out. And for those of you who know tarot, that can mean somebody from our past. It's the nostalgia card, looking back, looking back, uh, reminiscing fondly. <clears throat> I certainly hope, I don't know, if you want somebody from your past, this could be somebody showing up again. And if they were a, a player, that may explain this more completely here. If that card had fallen out first, that would have been easier, but um, that could be explained. If this explaining why this didn't make so much sense in the beginning because if this was someone from your past if you were involved with someone from your past that had player ways it's saying here they're putting those behind them and that also explains this temperance card in the upright because this it, this is you know an angel and they're pouring from one cup to the other that's symbolic of trying to balance bigger than just people in other words is balancing the energies in the universe but trying to balance and harmonize energies that's and again that's a major arcana card and that was the first card out the first card is always the most important or it talks about what the rest of the reading will be oftentimes and so this could be somebody from your past guys somebody who you perceived was controlling or domineering it could be somebody that held back their cup of love from you in the past and either you felt left out in the cold or this could be reversed, I guess. They left you out in the cold. And there's that strength card again because I, I shuffled and there it is again. Oh, goodness. I want to know. I have to know why is the Six of Cups card. I got to ask that. I'm going to go to this little deck. I'm nosy. I want to ask, what is the Six of Cups card? It's because, it, you know, and it, you could interpret that to say, well, it's just someone that reminds me of someone from the past. I want to ask, what is the Six of Cups card? What is this? Oh, that one wants to come out. Uh-oh. Oh, oh y'all. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm not laughing. Hang on. There's that page of wands. Now it's in the upright. Mm, we ask who it was. Somebody that you felt passionate about or felt passionate about you. Oh, yeah. So this very well could be somebody from your past. The devil card. That's what I was smirking about. The devil card in the upright. 
So this could be somebody that you, <clears throat> there's a number of ways to read this. <clears throat> the devil card can be obsession. It can be addictions, being restricted. It, it literally means something that something or someone or a situation that is restricting you because these people have chains around their necks that they could literally pull off and walk away, but they don't. <clears throat> and so it's being held back. And then it came out with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, which is something that you feel was a wasted effort. Like I planted those seeds and nothing came from it is what that means. And so this very well could be somebody from your past. <clears throat> and they're just curious about what's, what's going on with you. Hmm, wanting to know. Now, this is interesting. I rarely get, I know a lot of readers do, but I don't. I rarely get anything with this empress that has anything to do with actual pregnancy. For me, it's, but you can see in the clerk, she is depicted as being pregnant. Usually that represents just uh, fertility, you know, expansion and creativity and those kinds of things. But I don't know, for somebody out there, that may mean, like if you're a masculine and there's a feminine she might be coming back <laughs> saying something about that. But they are passionate about you. And this could be, because the way I asked the question, someone you were very, very passionate about. Could be saying that somebody from your past wants to come back with wanting a new beginning because they're making plans. And can you believe this? In this second different debt, we've got the King of Cups in the reverse again. So, oh, followed by the tower. So this could well be saying this was someone who held back their cup of love, would not give to you completely, or was emotionally shut down or closed off or unavailable, as, as it were. And that caused the tower between you two because that's what you want. You want, you know, most people do want somebody who will be emotionally available to them. So it, this could well be someone, as I've said, that was from your past who could have had addictions, could be addicted to you, could be, um, you know, the Page of Wands is the curious page. Again, they could just be curious about what's going on with you. Could be... Uh, Could be this person was also drinking a lot. Maybe they were having a hard time moving on. I mean, I don't have those cards here, but let's see what's behind this tower this time. <laughs> the same darn card. But now this time we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So this could be saying somebody that cost you a lot of... The, there was no mental clarity is one meaning. But also, this could have been somebody that lied and caused you a lot of anxiety and stress that something ended. And, you know, as I said, I don't have that card of not being able to move on. And now it's it came out right behind the Ten of Swords. An ending is followed by the Six of Swords, which means I can't move on. I, I, I can't move to calmer waters. I'm having a lot of remorse and regret over this. The Emperor in reverse again for the second time. So, Scorps, <laughs> for some of you out there, this won't be for everybody, of course, but for some of you out there, this is going to be somebody coming back that you've already known, and they want to revisit. <laughs> Maybe they want to balance things out with you, but just be mindful of this King of Cups because, again, he... He, even in the upright, he is strategic with his cup of love. You know, unlike the Queen of Cups who gives fully and completely, he's a little bit more selective about this cup that he gives. And in the reverse, it can really, it can mean emotionally unstable again, unavailable. It can also mean somebody's drinking too much. So bear that in mind. And I know you like I said, I know this wasn't what you, what y'all wanted to hear probably for some of you, but 
but maybe some of you do hope this person comes back. You know, it very well could be some of you want this person back. And if so, it looks like they are, they're on their way anyway. So I hope this helps somebody out there. If it did, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be going live this coming Sunday evening, 6 o'clock Central Time. So be sure you hit that notification bell so you will get notified. And I'll be doing some free readings. So join me there. Okay, guys. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye.